What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt, currently on the wrong name. I need to click over to Jugador 4. And I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans are actually spawning in the top of the map in the blue color, playing as Hades. His name is Ulysses. Ulysses the Great, Ulysses the Wise. Ulysses the chucking villagers onto food while chucking up a dock. He's currently playing against the mighty Yoshi on the other side of the map. Yoshi, the equally great and wise, but maybe even also equally mythological, if you really think about it. Anyways, round of eight right now. This is the quarterfinals. We are still best of five in the quarterfinals, I believe. Yes. We are still in the quarter finals. So, onwards and upwards. See how things are going to shape up in this game. We've got the dock popping up over here already. This is a strange variant of, uh, of Mega Random because the ponds are in the center and there's only three fishing spots in these ponds. Now, this variant can spawn a lake on the corner of the map. However, there is no lake over there. And you can actually see Yoshi being very clever and sending his early cow off to the corner to scout out and see if there's uh, something over there. But there is not, which does make things a little bit interesting. We'll see how these guys are going to react. Uh, the fact that there are only three fishing spots here and three fishing spots over here means you only need six fish total which means you really don't need as much wood as you would normally need we see yoshi's got currently seven villages over on the wood he's going to be chucking up his dock building these fishing spots and then he can very easily take all of those villages off of wood and chuck them over to food very smart play there from him now ulysses on the other hand he's actually got six villages on wood which is possibly uh possibly too many and he hasn't chucked up that next dock just yet a little bit late on that one uh, as he needs to throw that one down fairly soon and start getting those extra fishing spots out. There is a world where you probably don't need to worry about grabbing fishing, um, grabbing like mass fishing ships here in the early stages of the game. Well, those six fishing ships and going for a rush in order to kill off your opponent's dock um, in the early stages of the game in order to prevent this fish from um, paying for itself and then taking it for yourself a little bit later. Um, but I would assume that these players have got their build orders down a little bit better in order to make things work for themselves here as we do see a couple of fishing ships now coming out of this location over here yoshi just needs to get uh, a little bit more wood in order to get his temple up and a little bit more gold as well uh, and we'll see how he's going to go from uh from there it is a hades versus odin matchup uh which uh if i uh have any experience in these matchups this one has fireworks because the hades can defend very, very nicely, and the Odin can put pressure on very, very nicely. So we'll see how it's all going to shape up. Yoshi now doing exactly a perfect amount of wood here. He's got himself his temple. He's got himself his uh, his six fishing ships. He's got himself his two docks. He's got himself perfect amounts of food. This is literally a perfect opener here from Yoshi. If you, uh, The only thing that he could have possibly done better was maybe get this temple up uh, slightly earlier in order to uh, in order to have an advanced time. He does choose to get an extra Ulf Sark out, uh, but he's going to be able to do a lot of very cool things coming up here as Ulysses is going to get out his third or his sixth and final fishing ship, third and final fishing ship in this pond over here. And we'll see how things are going to go right now. Freya on the way now for Yoshi as he is... Uh, as, as we see Athena coming through for Ulysses. Gold mine here on the front with a cheeky sentinel. Going to be able to defend that one fairly easily. Uh, and we are seeing a cheeky dock has been dropped by Ulysses. Does that get spotted by Yoshi? Answer, no. Not spotting that dock means that Yoshi has to defend a little bit. He does notice that villager there. If he was paying attention, he would have spotted that one as it's going to be retreating away. Uh, he probably would have been able to pick that off as well if he'd spotted it with those Ulfsark. But the Ulfsark's simply just going to be moving forward to look for potentially something to forest fire or maybe a dock to drop down on his opponent's fish. Now, all that being said, on a map like this, I actually think that the smart move is to actually just build a tower and get your tower upgrades. Because one tower next to the dock 
with some wall chips around it is going to completely shut down what's going on over here. Uh, and I think this fishing ship does spot this dock going up. So that's going to happen no matter what. We see the forest fire getting dropped over here as the village is pulling away. Going to have to move on to a different location. Ulysses going heavy onto the wood. Not a lot of villagers on food right now, which might be a little bit of a mistake as we do see the Minotaur coming in. A beautiful building block here by Yoshi as he's going to have to retreat away from this location as we do see the Minotaur is in. And not only that, we see the, uh, the Trireme coming in. The Doc does end up coming through here as we do see a trireme pops out over here for Yoshi. I mean, for Ulysses hitting Yoshi's fishing ships. Uh, there's not really an area. I mean, maybe the, the trireme can pull back here and get out of the uh, the dock range. But it's pretty, uh, it's going to be a little bit frustrating for him to micro this one because it's going to get straight into range of the dock and then get taken down very, very quickly here, it would seem. Uh, as we do see a longboat coming out over here, going to get a couple of hits onto the trireme. See how many is going to be able to get out here before he decides to pop those ones out of the dock. As we do see the uh, longboat going to be targeting down a hoplite over here, getting some pretty nice value there. Uh, you might you might say here as one hoplite goes down the dock, probably going to end up falling, but three three longboats out. Maybe a little bit of a pain for Ulysses to deal with here. He's going to have to get a, a handful of trireme out of here himself, and that could allow... Yoshi to get in onto that position and be okay there as we are going to be seeing the Minotaur finishing off said dock. These longboats can simply sit back here and just kind of harass from afar. Uh, but he's just going to deal with that final trireme and then have to retreat back a little bit here. Maybe he can throw up another dock as well. Now the units are going to be moving forward. Ulysses going for what looks to be Hoplite Toxodi off of just the two military buildings. Just with a small boost in the economy, we'll see how he's going to be able to make use of that one there as the Trireme here going to get picked off by the dock, with the dock getting taken down very, very fast right now by Ulysses as uh, Yoshi also getting himself Perseen as things continue along here. Double Trireme out over here. Yoshi needs to get out a handful of... Uh, handful of longboats right now to defend this position. His longboats have been picked off over here as well. So a little bit of miss micro there from Yoshi, it would seem, as the dock is going, uh, is getting taken down very, very fast as the unit is trying to push them away. Yoshi's still not producing any longboats out of here. He's actually going to lose this location here. Thank you so much for the 15 months, Shalky. Appreciate you, my friend. And... One extra spot now for Ulysses as he decides to grab these fishing spots. It's going to give him an, uh, a significant advantage on uh, in the economy right now. Going up three fishing ships does matter quite a bit as I don't see any other attempt from Yoshi to really attack anywhere. So he hasn't managed to do any real damage to Ulysses as this game is going to continue. But Yoshi does have tons of food in the bank. He's got himself all the hunt. I'm sure he's going to have hunting dogs here as well as a couple more houses coming through. You can move over here onto these deer, see what's going to be happening there. And uh, the game continues. I think that it looks to me like Yoshi's going to be attempting to get to the heroic age here. The question is going to be, does he have time or not? Uh, as he doesn't have watchtowers. There's hoplites at his doorstep. I don't see an armory anywhere. It looks like a town center actually here for Yoshi. A little bit of a uh, risky uh, maneuver here from Yoshi to try and grab that one because he's got units at his doorstep losing this gold mine, having no way to continue in this game. He's got a back gold mine though, so he can definitely leave this location uh, and be all right here as the triremes are desperately trying to get in and uh, find some sort of... Uh, usage for their for their arrows here as we also see Kotoska boss over here spotting the raven ravens over both sides of the map nicely as that valkyrie way back here could definitely be used by yoshi in this uh in this position as we see an attempt at pushing through here again still no watchtowers coming through I do think if you're going to go for this town center, you should grab watchtowers as well, just to make sure you're in a nice and defensive position. There's the restoration getting dropped down as Yoshi does have to retreat back. I would wager that Ulysses does know about this gold mine. So he's so Yoshi's got to basically 
move over there and try and grab that one for himself. He's got no resources left in the bank right now. He's spending them all on units. His town center is up now, so he can grab this gold mine over here, this gold mine over here, and be relatively safe. His village is finishing up on the hunt as well. Going to be moving over onto this food over here, and that'll be a, a difficult one to secure for sure, as surely Ulysses moves around there in the meantime. Joshi's got himself his four throwing axemen in that town center. He's got himself 88 population right now compared to Ulysses, 103 population. Ulysses is streaming in units from his base here as well. As the hoplite does spot these villagers over here hunting from this hunt. We see the dwarf coming onto this gold mine over here as well. As the unit's going to swing around and try and take these ones out. Picking off the houses as well is going to be hurting Yoshi. Is as we see more longhouses getting dropped down. Meanwhile, over on this location, villagers moving over here for, uh, for Ulysses as well. We do not have that beautiful upgrade Lone Wanderer for that infantry-based army. That Yoshi has assembled a couple of walls going to pop up here to buy a little bit of time. Not a bad idea if he can get them up as he's trying to, but he's a little gap right now as the units are going to come through, see the walls getting thrown up and try and put a stop to that one as they push in. The throwing axemen will immediately start targeting down the Hippocon. A little bit of a misclick, I would say, if he went after those hoplites, he'd be doing a little bit more damage. But right now, those Toxodes and the Trireme that are sitting or were sitting in this pond that have been deleted are a very, very big a uh, very, very big deal because there's no counter to those Toxodes in this army. Meanwhile, also seeing a dock coming over onto this position as well to try and take down that location there as the army going to be retreating away. We see the Townsends are now coming up for Ulysses as well as the villager advantage is only at one villager or two villagers for Yoshi. Uh, and remember, Ulysses has got the extra three fishing ships over Yoshi, which does in fact mean he's up six fishing ships in total here so a big big advantage in the resource count here as Ulysses is almost hitting that 800 food that he needs to advance to the next age a little bit short on the gold but he's going to be uh, able to get there nonetheless as Yoshi is going to be battling through trying to build houses trying to defend we see a couple of units swinging around the bottom here checking out the gold mines seeing what's happening there uh, Yoshi doesn't have any cow we've got one cow left over here but that's about it. A handful of units getting taken down as the Toxodes are going to attempt to take down those infantry units over here. Uh, random Toxodes throwing hacksmen getting caught out here as the unit's going to be pushing in. This is actually a very, very interesting fight right now because we do have medium infantry through for Yoshi. Uh, so he might be able to win this one, especially with those Hursa able to take down the Minotaur at this point. Uh, so really all that Ulysses needs to do is target down those Hursa with his Toxodes and his Chiron and his, and his Minotaurs are going to just be an absolute menace in this fight. One Minotaur does end up falling here. The other one going to town on those uh, throwing axemen, but it does seem like the medium upgrades are too much for Ulysses to push through there, and Yoshi manages to defend that one there as Ulysses has to get away from him. Ulysses is going to turn back and attempt to take down some of these units yet again as the Valkyries starting to come through in an attempt to defend against those Minotaurs. They're not bull Minotaurs or anything like this, so they still cost that full 200 food. Ulysses is going to be grabbing his third town center right now. So we see some villagers moving up to the top side of the map, maybe going to grab the pine trees, maybe grab the boars. Uh, we do see a handful of triremes or a trireme coming out right now as the fishing ships are coming through to steal these final fishing spots away from Yoshi. That's such a, a strong usage of of the map here. Not only that, the villagers over here on this boar might be able to get targeted down by the triremes. Does he spot that or not? Is the question. He sees the villager over there, so he might be able to start pushing off of those boars as well. As some raiding cavalry going to be coming in here. Does end up losing that. Raiding cavalry, a really, really good uh, distraction tool against those uh, those Toxodes. You can run them in, kind of run around, all that good stuff. We are seeing Aurora Borealis coming through now for Yoshi. That is the upgrade for the Valkyrie, turning them to shield maiden Valkyrie, giving them extra damage uh, and, and extra healing. Yes, extra damage and extra healing. I got it. Let's go. As these units are trying to push back, we do have the Toxodes getting some good damage done. As the Shield Maiden Valkyrie going to swing around, potentially to allow Yoshi to win this fight. He's still just losing so many units. And not only that, now Ulysses is at his third town center. We do see some raids now coming on to Yoshi's food villages over here. This is absolutely devastating for Yoshi's economy here. He doesn't have any farms set up. All the villages will end up dying if they don't start retreating, but they might die nonetheless here as they are, well, they're not retreating at all. And Yoshi just says, all right, Time to give up those villages and move on somewhere else on the map. 
as his dwarves coming over onto this side as well. The army going to be moving in to try and defend this location, but too little too late. Hiroshi with one villager remaining over here as the Hippocon Hoplite Toxodi is going to be or are going to be retreating away as Aphrodite is coming through uh, for our main man Ulysses as the dwarves are going to be swinging around up onto this location. I'm not sure that Ulysses should really care that much. He can easily just take this town center down with no units over here. I do see a handful of units raiding this gold mine over here. Going to get a couple of villager kills, it would seem, especially with the Aurora Borealis Valkyrie uh, there as well. Volta Veribus also coming through as Hand Axe comes through for Ulysses. And the uh, old villagers over here about to meet their demise. If they do not retreat, a couple of them will end up falling. Attempting to path block the villagers as best as he possibly can with his army over here. As they will retreat through into the town center. Most of them get in here alive. But Ulysses is now up to 62 villagers compared to Yoshi's 46 villagers. So a significant advantage for... Uh, Ulysses in this game. Not only that, well we, well, we are starting to see the raids returning into or moving in onto this position with the Nemean Lion coming through the Chiron in the back here to defend. I'm not sure this is going to be the easiest way to continue here as the walls do finish up over here. The, top, the throwing axemen can sit behind these and deal with those hoplites nicely. So he should be okay with this, with this gold mine for the time being here. But right now, Yoshi's got himself 2,600 gold in the bank. And 600 food. So he's just short, very, very, very short on the food he needs to get to that next age over here. He does have berries on this location. He still has this one cow over here, but he's not gathering uh, the food at all in this game. He's just making uh, those throwing axes as well. As we do see a big curse getting dropped over here. The Nemean Lion going to be moving in as well as the raid's going to be coming through for Yoshi. He's very behind on the population, 122 of 130 to 142 of 145. This Nemean Lion is a very scary unit right now, going to be getting a whole bunch of splash damage onto the uh, throwing axemen here as they are going to be retreating away. As you see, Ajax getting taken down there uh, on the front. There's no he, there's no myth units right now for, uh, for Yoshi on this location. He's attempting to hold the town center by garrisoning inside of it. He can continuously pop out, get some damage done as the units over here just sitting on this gold mine that we will be seeing. The villagers jumping over onto this gold mine over here, but we do have Yoshi with the shield maiden Valkyrie here. Going to be able to defend that one uh, fairly nicely there as the Nemean Lion moves in onto this position as well. As the units do pop out and push Ulysses away, but Ulysses still in a commanding position, and we are in fact seeing Artemis on the way right now for uh, for Ulysses, a very, very difficult thing for Yoshi to deal with. He's going up through Skadi, and the Skadi is going to be through fast enough that the Earthquake, even if it's clicked immediately, uh, the Skadi will come through because it does take only a minute to, uh, to, to research as opposed to minute 30 it takes for Artemis or a mythic age to research some good micro right now going on by yoshi as he's trying to take out a ton of these villages get some return damage done onto yoshi but even if he picks off every single one of these villages that ulysses has which he very well might do that's still advantage uh U ulysses in a big way because he still has those 12 fishing ships there uh and we are seeing the fortress attempting to come back up here stray prodromus almost getting taken down one hp remaining as Yoshi's going to retreat back. We are seeing the units trying to push through here. The walls are up. And Ulysses decides, not, not today. And we'll see where he's going to go after this one. As the units have to retreat back for Yoshi. Yoshi's at 110 of 130 population. He's going to want to drop down his market immediately here. Uh, the question is, how does he really continue? Does he go Balder? Does he go uh, Tier? Does he stay in the Heroic Age and try and hold? Uh, he does have the market to buy a thousand food right now in advance. So that's 100% a, an option for him. So we are seeing the Prodromus going to be sacrificing himself to the Earthquake Gods here. As we also see a Pegasus coming in. Lots of buildings falling in the main base. That's such a crazy amount of destruction here. Temple going down, longhouse is going down, houses going down. One, two, three, four, five, six houses here going down. That's absolutely brutal. And now the units are going to be pushing it onto this position over here. The throwing axemen are not going to be able to deal with the Minotaur here or the Nemean Lion. So a frost has been forced here as the hill fort does get dropped meanwhile we see the buildings getting thrown up over on this position we've got a fortress going to be attempting to get dropped over here as well to take down or take control of this town so it's going to be a little bit too close here given the town center will be up uh but 
Ulysses has got all of the uh, initiative right now as the Chimera going to be moving in onto this position. The Village is retreating over onto this wood line, but the Chimera spots them immediately. Going to be going in onto this one and taking those villagers out. Look at this splash damage coming in. A whole bunch of dead villagers there. Imagine if that was two Chimera as a couple more villagers going to be falling here as there's just not, there's no HP remaining. And even if Yoshi was to go Ragnarok here, there'd just be not enough to, to be able to do anything at this point. As we do see the Frost Giant going to be moving over here to deal with this chimera and in that moment yoshi does tap out and ulysses gets the first dub here with his hades against yoshi's odin on this pretty crazy map a very very nice strategy from both players trying to get in onto the opponent's docks getting a little bit of extra damage done uh, but in the end ulysses was just a little bit more aggressive than yoshi i think this town center was a big mistake had Yoshi gone for the earlier Scardi, then you get access to Frost, you get access to Frost Giants, and you can actually get a uh, deal with the opposing Greek army, the Hoplite Toxodi army, much better, especially if you can get out Huskal as well. Uh, and not only that, he wouldn't have had to move up here onto this board, losing a ton of early game villages. He could have been on the wood back here, on this gold mine that was back here, and probably been okay here, but... Uh, he did decide to go for the town center, and that slowed him down too much to get to the the heroic gauge here. And in the end of the get, in the end of the day, Ulysses played it too well for him. First game, Ulysses. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.